Hello everybody. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Riley aka Honey Rags and I'm a full-time reseller. This video is an Amazon customer return palette unboxing video. I know I will probably have a lot of newer viewers who are not regulars to my channel, so I'm going to be doing a quick PSA. I have a lot of kids. I have three of my own to be exact, two soon to be stepsons. We are all in shelter in place because of the pandemic that's going on in the entire world right now. So they're all going a little bit stir crazy. Uh, you may hear little voices in the background. I may have to take a couple of breaks <laughs> and edit them out of the video. Uh, I have tried starting this video like seven times and I keep getting interrupted because of little voices in the background. So I just, I figured, you know what? I, I'm gonna do the video regardless. So if you are someone who's easily triggered by little tiny voices in the background, I am so sorry. Um, we are all going nuts. So I'm trying to keep them occupied with their electronics, but I don't know how long that will last. That was my quick PSA for my new viewers. I know most of my subscribers understand the fact that sometimes my videos will be interrupted by little tiny children, little pitter patter. So um, with the Amazon customer return, unboxing. I'm going to quickly go through what that means. I'm not going to go into detail, but if you are someone who is not familiar with Amazon customer return palettes or how they work, I'm going to leave a link down below in the description to one of my previous unboxing videos where I go into more detail about what it means, um, what it means to have an unmanifested palette versus a manifested palette. So yeah, I'm going to leave that video link down below in the description. But I am ordering a lot more online inventory. I have, if you follow me over on Instagram, I have stacks and stacks of boxes that I have to go through still of Amazon customer returns. So I should, I should be busy for a while. During this video, I'm only going to show you guys two of the boxes that I'm going to be unboxing. I haven't gone through them yet uh, for the sake of keeping this video under like an hour long. But I did cheat as far as during my last video, if you watched it, most of what I was unboxing was unmanifested, which means it was really a mystery to me. Like I didn't really know a lot of the things that I was getting. So it was like, I was just as surprised as you guys were with some of the stuff that I pulled out. This, these two boxes that I'm gonna go through in this video, um, most of it was manifested, but I will say there were some things in there that were not manifested. I don't know which box is which right now. I think the ones that I'm about to show you guys are like general merchandise, not totally sure. I will say when I was going through the manifest, I stopped at around the $30 price point because the manifest will start with the highest MSRP item and go down, 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 down from there. So I stopped around the $30 price range, calculated the top half of the manifest to make sure that I could make my money back and then a profit that I was comfortable with. And I left the rest like $30 and under basically a mystery uh, for the sake of my videos and for the sake of the fact that I love the thrill of the unknown. So it looks like this first item is, looks like a jacket. This is, this is a Dickies jacket. I do believe this was on the manifest. Um, I, it would have been nice if it was a Carhartt, but I will, Dickies is fine. I do believe this is new. However, because it's a customer return, the customer might have taken the tags off. We will see. I'm not disappointed with that. I knew that was in the lot. These are one thing that I hate getting um, in general merchandise lots and almost all the general merchandise lots that I bid on have these. They're really hard to sell. They're just uh, allergy protection bed bug comforters. Um, I don't want to say it's a dud. I mean, I think it will sell, but I get those in almost all of my general merchandise lots. Wow. First of all, this doesn't have the original box. So it looks like, oh, it's a Chefman, maybe like a bullet blender or something. There's a lot of sticky stuff on top. Okay. So it's a Chefman. And I'm sorry, you guys, I should have probably told you this at the beginning. As with my last video, I'm not going to go through how much each thing is worth on my phone because I think it would take up too much time. This is probably a dud. Actually, I'm almost positive this is a dud because it seems like it uh, was used. So that's a dud. Let's see. See, this is another unknown. I'm just going to open all of these, I guess. 
Oh, these are, this is good. Um, Lucky Bums. I mean, oh, these smell really stinking good. They smell like that, that new, uh, clothing smell. So this is good. These are snow pants. Obviously, we're going into a, a different season with snow pants. These, I think, were on the manifest. I think I'll probably be able to get $30 for them. They should send first class. Um, but people always buy these all year round, uh, especially people who like to go to Colorado for skiing and stuff. I live in Michigan, so people buy snow pants all year round. Even though it's not snowy here all year round, they, they still do. This is... <laughs> Okay, keep in mind, because the first few things I pulled out seem like they're all like, um, these general merchandise palettes usually go for a lot, uh, I usually get general merchandise palettes for a lot cheaper than like health and beauty or consumer electronics palettes. I can already tell this is a general merchandise palette, um, with the first few items because I got this very, um, cheap, smart and sexy bra. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, now I feel bad. I, I shouldn't have said cheap. It's woman-owned, so it's like a woman-owned business. Okay, it, it feels lightweight, okay? Maybe I shouldn't say cheap. I don't even know if this is really going to be sellable, but maybe it'll, it'll fit, it won't fit me. So that, I would say, is a done. Now that we got those random pieces out of the way, I'm going to start getting out the things that are actually in boxes, which are more exciting for me. So this is a soothing sound machine. Uh... It, oh, it's not sealed. Oh, but it looks like everything's good in the box. So if you find soothing sound machines, I mean, I usually do sell them. This is probably something I'm going to let go for like uh, $20 on eBay, maybe even less, maybe like $15. Uh, however, Marpac sound domes, the white noise machine, the original white noise machine, those always sell for around $40 or $50 for me. So keep in mind, white noise machines they're not always a good find, but if you find a Mar Pack, um, I, I never know how much information to give you guys. Like, do I want to give all of my secrets or do I want to keep some to myself? This is probably uh, maybe like a $10 or $15 item. It just looks like a color temperature LED video lighting, which I might actually use this for my videos. So I wouldn't call this a dud because I would keep that for myself totally if it works. It looks like we're getting into the better stuff here, guys. This is a Belifu. Uh, well, I like the packaging. It's a fast, oh, dual channel fastening cable ties. Never mind. Oh, wait. So this is what it is. I don't know what it is. It says something about sports here. Tell your friends. Um, this is, I don't know, maybe it's a dud. I wish I could tell you guys more detail. This honestly probably was in the manifest. It says enriching your health. So I don't know. It looks like all of the pieces are here. Obviously it is open box. Maybe 20 bucks if it works. It looks like it just tracks your body movements and stuff. Maybe more. I don't know. We'll see. I don't want to say that one's a dud. That one's interesting. I'm not going to. Okay. I'm just going to start a little pile of things for the sake of keeping this video nice and short. Uh, this is a Philips wake up light, which is actually rather cool. It's a Philips, which is a, it's a good brand. It's a reliable brand, but they also mass produce. <laughs> what brand doesn't? So uh, I'm guessing this will probably go for around 25, maybe $30. So, so far I'm not, I, I'm not disappointed because I got these lots for very cheap, uh, cheaper than I normally get them for. Usually when I'm buying lots, I expect to pay about $500 a lot, which is, which averages around $6 an item. Uh, this one, I, I don't want to give away all my secrets, but this one was very, very cheap. I caught it at a really good time. I'm so glad I told you about the sleeping dome because this is a Marpac, um, dome. A natural sound machine, a sleep sound machine. This one will absolutely sell. Um, Marpac sleeping domes, these always sell. This I'll probably probably be able to get $40 for. This, this um, is an adjustable shoulder immobilizer brace. These are a dime a dozen. Uh, I'm, I'll try to get $10 out of it with first class shipping just so that I can at least make like what? 
six dollars seven dollars off of it the little believe it or not with my um general merchandise lots the little thi uh the little things here and there that i think initially like if you guys were watching you would think oh that's only worth 10 15 dollars that's a done but if you're getting a lot of them and you paid a dollar an item you know af after you break down the um numbers it adds up especially if you're someone who's having you know dozens of sales a day samsung water filters these are always good these ones are i sell a lot of these uh i think these ones sell for about 50 dollars because it's a uh, um it's a two pack so that's that's a good fifty dollars right there um, I know stuff like this looks boring. When I watch unboxing videos, I like to see the really cool stuff, and I think filters and lights and stuff like that are boring, but they're worth money, so it's not boring to me. <laughs> this is, what does it look like? Oh, that's kind of cute. It's a moon lamp, um, probably like $15. Uh, this stuff would probably sell better around Christmas. I'll see. I might keep that for like a future gift. These are just Febreze that refill packs. This wouldn't be worth reselling to me because the packaging is damaged. However, I do have one of these Febreze plugins, so it is a dud, but I will use it. It's not going to go in the trash. Um, Casio, Casio watches. They're they're not anything special. Um, obviously, this one. It looks like it. Um, it works. Um, I mean, it hasn't been taken off of the thing yet. It still has the protective seal. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll try to get $20 out of it. This is, see, this doesn't have the original packaging either, but usually with uh, things like this, it doesn't really matter because when you go to Petco, they don't have these in boxes anyway. They're usually laid out. This is a, I don't know the name of this brand, but I mean, I like the graphic on it. It's a nice, cute dog harness. Um, the brand name is Baby something. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll be able to get like $18 out of this because it's cute and pink and has a cute bulldog on it. We'll see. There's this random thing in here that has no box. Um, I don't know what it is. However, some of these, if my fiance were here, he would know exactly what it is. Some of these random uh, electrical, uh, like for, oh, it's a transformer. So some of these are worth selling. Some of them are duds. I don't know. That might be a $50 item. That might be worth $5. I'm not sure. It's nice and heavy, so we'll see. It conveniently does have a model number on the back side, so it will be easy to look up. Oh, this is a mess. However, if every part is in here, this should be like a $50 item or more. It's a Reese Toe Power Anti-Theft Lock Kit. So if everything is in here, this is definitely a good one. Um, unfortunately, it looks... Oh, dang it. So this was used. However, that looks like grease. Maybe someone installed it. I'm going to clean this up. I'll list it as pre-owned. But if all the pieces are here, I don't think this is a good regardless of the fact that it looks like it was installed but not actually um, heavily used. So hopefully all the pieces are here, maybe 50 bucks. These are the last two things in the box. This is ooh, um, the grips, something like seal tight, keeps food fresh. I mean, if this is like one of those as seen on TV brands, maybe I can get like $12 out of it. We'll see. I don't want to call it a dud. This is, um, a, this is good. It's a Moen two handle replacement cartridge. So little things like this are an easy sell. Uh, it's new in the box. I'll probably, I don't know, maybe like $15. Maybe it's like 25. You never know, but with, uh, Moen is a good brand, kind of like Kohler. So this is a good find because I can send that bad boy out first class. We are moving on to box number two. Uh, this one, I also don't know if it's general merchandise or not. I'm assuming it is because it was right next to my other general merchandise box. 
This is an every drop water filter, water, water filter. This is a refrigerator filter. Um, if they're name brand like Whirlpool, Samsung, uh, GE, General Electric, they're usually uh, a good, a good find. I, I do think this one was on the manifest. I'm going to say that one's probably about $30. This one has a lot more. Is this a plumbing lot? I don't know. This one has a lot more um, boxed items, which is good. I don't know what the... Oh, this is um, Belkin. Oh, what is this? This might be like a Wi-Fi. Um, I don't know what this is, but I will find out. I do believe this one was on the manifest. Uh, I don't think that one is a dud either. So I realize so far this lot seems very boring because it's a lot of electronics. It's a lot of general merchandise or not electronics, um, like home uh, installation, a lot of general merchandise, a lot of random stuff. But this is the reality of bidding on Amazon customer returns. So I realize this is boring <laughs> compared to like um, my, my previous Amazon unboxing video, which was really cool because it was a health and beauty lot, so everything was fun. I knew what every single thing was, but regardless, um, this is the reality of it. This looks like just um, a swim, looks like an Amazon, probably an Amazon Basics brand, and, and yeah. cool. Okay, this is like brand new in the box, like literally, how do you open this? I don't want to ruin the box. You guys are going to be watching me for two hours. These are um, two-pack, what are these? Just LED starlights. I did all that work for these that are probably like $7 for both of them on Amazon. So this will, is probably a done. But that's okay. I'll be honest about my duds. This looks like a milk frother. I'm wrong. This is a beverage server. This is definitely a dud. This I will probably uh, redonate. Winware. Yeah, that one's not special. This one is, this is cute. James and Aaron, probably an Amazon Basics brand. Usually with Amazon customer returns, um, the, the clothing is a Amazon Basics brand. It's cute. I mean, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can sell this. Um, maybe, maybe 20 bucks, <laughs> maybe 15, either way. Okay. So this is cool. This is a, my touch smart timer. Um, it's a plug-in timer. I think it like, uh, you can hook it up to lights and stuff like that. So this is good. Um, the, it's open box, but it looks like everything's here. So I don't know, maybe 20, 25, maybe 30, but that might be stretching it. it depends on the, um the brand and if it um, can like connect to your de oh so you can connect it to like your phone and turn off your outdoor lights through your phone okay so this is good so that's probably 25 30 bucks I don't know what this is it's a mystery let's find out I should have a knife handy it's funny too because usually when I watch other unboxing videos um, with people who do the Amazon return pallets, they're doing it like in their warehouse with really good lighting. Um, I'm doing it in my kitchen, um, at my kitchen table and I'm running out of space. So I probably look very unprofessional, but I have to be upstairs while my kids are upstairs. Um, obviously. So these are just wheels. So I did all that over some wheels. However, these are cave pop, cave pop wheels. So maybe like a good 25 bucks. I don't know. Well, I'll look up that brand. I don't want to. I don't want to discredit this one just because they're wheels. Um, I know like certain skateboard wheels, people will pay a lot of money for it. I don't. Those aren't skateboard wheels, but oh, let's see, caster wheels, slipstick, stuff like this. I like getting um, because it's completely sealed, so I don't have to worry about all the parts not being in here. I don't know. Maybe like a twenty dollar item. We'll see. Another random Amazon Basics top. Oh, this oh this is cool. No, it's not Amazon Basics. Just do it. So this, I mean, what like fourteen dollars free shipping on eBay, something like that. Maybe that's maybe twelve dollars with free shipping. Either way, it's not a dud. 
Um, another every drop filter. This is good. I like getting these because these are an easy way to make my money back. And then everything else is usually profit. This is an auto seal Contigo. Oh, I thought it was a camel back for a second. So Contigo, obviously, it's not anything special. I'll probably save this for a future Christmas gift, but I hope none of my friends and family are watching this video. Um, if they are, I'm sorry. Um, this is funny. Normally I wouldn't even show you guys this, but this is the reality. What is this, like a, a hair tie? I hope it's not something like, this isn't a hair tie. I hope it's not something naughty that I'm touching. Okay, I don't know. I'm just going to put that over there. Um, this is, oh my gosh, I don't even know what this is. Probably a dud. Put it in my dud pile. Okay. Oh my lord, I'm getting a lot of these random Amazon basics. What is this? This is... Wait, this might not be. This feels like it's nice and heavy. Oh, this is good. Wait, Bulwark Protective Apparel. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I have to look up this brand. I like the fact that it has like its own logo right here. Maybe it's something fancy. I mean, not fancy, but maybe I can get like $25 out of it. I This is so funny. I am piling things on top of each other. Another random mystery box. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh my god. This is so cute. It's a Groot um, planter. This is cute. Okay, I'm sure these are on Amazon for like $25 with free shipping already, but that doesn't mean I'm, I'll sell it open box. Um, unused condition for what? 18? That's really cute though. Oh, here's a, a good one, I think. Okay, so tub or shower remodeling kit. Oh, but this is like a cheapie. Oh, dang it. So this is probably just gonna, I'll give it to um, Habitat for Humanity because it's a, a little outdated. Um, it's pretty heavy. I'll probably donate that to a Habitat for Humanity. Um, this is a light bulb pack, which is also, uh, I mean, I can try to sell it, but I don't think it's like any special brand, so I will consider this a dud. Um, these is clearly a dud. These are like little suction things. This is so unprofessional of me, but I am going through all of the stuff after taping and I cannot stop laughing about all the suction cups I have because I had like a handful more at the bottom of my bag or at the bottom of my box. So I have like a hundred suction cups <laughs> and the first thing that came to mind is <laughs> Oprah Winfrey. You get a suction cup. You get a suction cup. So this is a prep workers pro keeper. Probably going to keep it for myself. So that is from a reselling standpoint. That one is a dud. This one, well, I will be able to sell because it's Snow White and the Huntsman. Obviously, I'll probably have to sit on it for a while unless somebody um, who enjoys like cosplay would want this. Uh, I'll probably be able to get like $20 out of it. It's medium, so it's a decent size. This should be first class too. We'll see. Oh, this is hilarious. This is a little hamster tunnel. So this I'll just, I'll donate to one of my hamster lover friends. I thought it was a helmet at first, but it's a hamster tunnel, I think. Maybe it's a helmet. I'm just kidding. It's a hamster tunnel. So that's a dud. Oh, Lord, what do we have here? This is a blow up something. Uh, it's a dud. But it's like, what is that? World Wrestling or something? I don't know. Wonder Woman, WWE. I don't know. Probably Wonder Woman. Either way, I'll say that's a dud. Oh my God, this is cute. Oh, but it's chipped. Oh, that breaks my heart. You guys, it's totally ruined. Keep calm and let Noni handle it. Oh, if this wasn't Chip, this would be so cute. So obviously I know why they returned that because it's a freaking dud because it's Chip. Dud pile. I'm not gonna lie, with this haul, 
or with this unboxing, my dud pile is a lot larger than my keep pile. But this is the reality of it. I don't want you guys to watch my Amazon customer return boxing videos and go bid on a pallet and get screwed over. Luckily, a lot of these uh, water filters and um, random odds and ends like the Marpac Dome, stuff like this, um, these wheels, luckily that will bring my money back and everything else from there is profit. This is definitely not a dud. It's NFL team apparel. Um, New York what? New York Jets. This I think I'll probably be able to get like $30 for. So this is good. Oh, this is the problem. Okay, this is why they returned it. So this pocket fell off. But I am a master seamstress, if you do not know. Um, so this will be quite an easy repair for me. So I'll list it as repaired. But I still, since it's repaired, I'll say I'll try to list it around $26. But I don't want to call that a dud because that's a very easy repair and it still has the tags. So sick of opening these bags. This is another bra. Let's see. It is a Picasso. What size is it? Extra large. Oh, it's a pumping and nursing bra. This is good. Pumping and nursing bras always, always sell. I think since that one's brand new, I'll list it for like $15 on eBay. I'll look up the brand. It might be worth a little bit more than that, but I'm, I haven't heard of that brand before. This is, oh, 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 oh. This is um, NBA Bulls, Chicago Bulls. This was this was definitely not on the manifest because I would have noticed if there was anything that said um, Chicago Bulls. This I think I'll be able to get like 30 bucks for. So this is good. Okay, towards the bottom of the box we're getting better because I was getting a little nervous there like, okay, what's going on? Um, this is a safety first secure mount deadbolt lock. You can buy these at Walmart new, I think, for like $15, $17. I'll see. I might, I'm not going to call this a dud because it'll definitely ship first class. Okay. I'm getting tired now. I'm out of breath. This just looks like, well, what's inside here? Holy crap. What is this? This was not in the manifest. Oh, it's, um, it's like hair clipping. King Star? Has anybody, uh, hairdressers know that brand? Um, I'm not going to call it a dud because everything is actually like in its own wrapping packaging in here so you can tell it hasn't been used. But I don't expect to really get that much out of it. This is a Smart Garage Hub. So this is my Q Smart Garage Hub. These I've sold um, for around $25 to $35 depending on which on the condition. This one is brand new in the box, so I think I will be able to get 30 out of it. So that's good. We're saving ourselves here. And I do think this is a general merchandise palette as well, which is surprising. What do we got here? This is a mystery. I don't know what it is. Maybe a dog bowl or something? You guys, I have to quick take an interruption. Um, I found this out after filming when I tried to put this weird thing together. It's actually a really cool ELS pet bowl, and it has like a rotating, um, I don't know, this I might be able to sell pre-owned or new without box. Yeah, this definitely isn't pre-owned. I might be able to sell this one new without box for like 20 or $25, so we'll see. So I put it in the dud pile, but it is not a dud. Um, this is Procell AA24, a big pack of batteries. I, I will never call these duds because we have five boys, five children combined, and we always need batteries for toys and electronics and stuff like that. This is Insta Vitamin C Serum Duo. It's a hit or miss depending on the brand. Uh, if this is like a, a nicer brand, which it seems like it is, um, maybe like 15 or 20 bucks. This will go first class. I'm almost done with the box, guys. Um, this is pure, oh, veterinary diets. These are good. Uh, and they're, they're not expired. Oh, please. Oh, 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 oh. Yay. I'll have to count these. So these are, I'll have to count and make sure there's 30. If all 30 are there, I do think this was like a, uh, 
this was on the manifest. I, I believe this was like $50, maybe 40, something like that. But these are good. So that is not a dud. Even if not all 30 packets are there, I'll undercut the price by like 25%. I'll still, these are good. And this is a Minger Light Up Your Wonderful Life. I already like this. I already like this. I need some more positivity because I'm stuck inside my house with a bunch of kids who scream mom constantly. I need something that gives me wonderful positivity. Let's see. I look so unprofessional right now. Oh, damn it. <laughs> this is definitely a dud. So this would be cool. It's like those those uh, lights, those LED lights that like tape to things. I actually, my stepsons have some like taped all around their room because they can control the colors. They think it's super cool. But uh, these are a hard sell. They're a dime a dozen. You can usually buy them on Amazon for pretty cheap. So I would call that a dud. I'll ask my uh, fiance if he wants to like light up the garage or something. But So that is the last of the second box. Um, I am, believe it or not, despite all the duds, I am happy. Um, I know how much I paid for the lot. I really don't want to disclose all of my secrets because I do feel like that is a bad business um, model to be telling everybody exactly where I'm getting everything from, exactly how much I'm paying because that's, I hate to say it, but that will create more competition. <laughs> and I'm trying to say that in like the most, the most gentle and respectful way possible. Um, I will say for, uh, I got probably eight, huge boxes and I paid less than uh, less than $500 for all of the boxes so I think between everything I probably paid somewhere around a dollar to two dollars an item uh, maybe even less so keep that in mind um, I do have a lot more boxes to do, so let me know down below in the comments if you guys want me to go through the other boxes. Um, I believe I do have a, more general merchandise boxes. I do have some home and lighting boxes. Uh, I just have some mixed in other boxes. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to do more videos on those within the next couple of days or if this was a little bit boring because I know you guys like watching me do my clothing hauls and my, my health and beauty palette hauls, but... I got these for so cheap. I had to get them. I'm glad I did. Um, I'm confident that I'll make a good profit. So if you made it this far throughout the video, thank you so much because it actually does help my YouTube algorithm if you watch the videos all the way. Um, I'm also going to leave a link down below in the description to my Instagram. And from there, there is a campsite bio, which is like a link tree, but link tree wasn't working for me. And you can go follow me on Poshmark um, and you can go see my eBay store. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Happy selling. I would say happy sourcing, but we're all under like a weird lockdown right now. So whatever. <laughs> um, and everybody, please stay safe. Wash your hands. Trust science. We will get through this. Thank you so much for watching.